Alright, so uh, this one I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> what I believe God is. It'll be a, it'll take me a bit. A lot of explaining to do, I guess, but <clears throat> whatever. Okay, so um, I don't believe in the whole religious type God, type dude, type guy up in the sky. <clears throat> I believe that the universe is with God, that's with God's body. So like in our body we have all these cells and all this stuff and speaking of cells, we got the white cells and the red cells. The white cells are fighting to heal us and the red cells, red cells are fighting to destroy us, kill us. And humans are like that, just the good humans doing the good shit, helping the world, doing the bad ones, fucking infecting it in a negative way, fucking it all up. So there's white cells and the red cells and moving forward, yes, and you gotta take like the sun and the planets, they're like atoms and the nucleuses, it's very similar, it's got the same old thing going on. So what if I know little nucleuses, there's little, little beings, different type of beings, obviously, but different dimension type beings, but they're good be. So in our body, there could be all kinds of life going on, all kinds of civilizations, all kinds of wars. And though to those civilizations, they would have their gods, they would have their religious god, all the shit, but in reality, their god is really just the body they live in. So maybe that's all God is to us, or just the body that we live in, or maybe the mind that we live in. Like, we go to sleep at night, those words we dream up, words we create, there's people in those worlds walking around, living life, doing their thing. And it's like, uh, could they know? Um, sorry, I lost my thought. Um, yeah, so, like maybe we, all that, what if we're the, the background characters in God's dream, like God's just having some dream and we're the characters in the background of the dream, just the side characters, the whole thing. Maybe God decided to give us well, like he, he had full control, like in my other video I was talking about, maybe we become gods upon, not dream worlds and, you know, when we die and all this shit, so we have the ability to do whatever we want in the dream world, we could take away all free will so everybody is under our control, they just do what we want them to do, or we can let them have control over themselves, and maybe that's what free will, maybe God knew that he was in a dream, not, you know, really in a dream, but in that world, like it's his world, like how a dream world would be to us, so, in, in a dream world, I thought about that, like I would have those dream worlds where I'm kind of in control, and like, well, I can control what happens, you know, like, kids can't arrest me for anything, this, that, you know, but then I'd have those ones, two ones where I'd let me not be in control of anything, I wouldn't be in control of nothing, I'll just let what happens after, but knowing that none of it's real, you know, so maybe God did that, maybe it's just a dream, or maybe Jesus was real, and maybe it was just God in, in the dream, that was God's dream avatar, maybe. Uh, maybe Adam, in Adam and Eve story, that was God's first avatar, and maybe God got split into a male and female form, and that's when Adam and Eve was just God, two sides to the God, and created life from that. Um, but for me, like, like in my one side, the love drug, I say I see it in the bees, I see it in the plants, I see it in the... I see it in the uh, I see it in the trees, I see it in the plants, I see it in the bees, I see it in the ants, I see it in the leaves and the way they dance, the trances, the wind, the ducks, the melody. That's got to be like I, the sea, the trees, the birds, the bees, the ants, the fucking, all the bugs, all the animals, all the nature, everything, people, all that. We're all just extensions of God, we're all part of God, we're all just God's body. We all the, we all the, like Jesus said in that one thing about, this is the, that what they're drinking was the blood of God or whatever, and what they're eating the bread was the flesh of God. But maybe that's what it means. It's just we all that we all parts of God's body. We are that liquid that's God's. You know, that's part of God's body. That food we eat that's part of God's body. It's all part of His body. You know, we all we all like the cells. You know, so we all affecting. What if we all affecting God with everything we do? The life we live it affects God. Like if everyone just just do a fucked up shit, God dies quick and we all die. Maybe we all become enlightened, God becomes fucking 
you know, next level shit beyond God. Because God might not be a God. He might just, you know, God in the sense that we're God. You know, we pray words and our dream words and shit. But, um, so he might not even know he's, you know, he might not consider himself a God. He might be like, oh, God, I don't know. I got all these people. He might not even know we exist. He <clears throat> might just be some characters in a dream. It could be living inside his body <clears throat> on some nucleuses or something. Maybe the sun and the planets are what atoms and nucleus look like for God's body, you know? So that's what I see, like, when I look at the window, I see God. Everything I look at, that's God, it's not done to fear. If you fear God, it's not God. And that's same. That's God, I mean. Why would God... This is a different video, right? But not about all this shit. But why, I would just say now, but why would God create us and knowing what we are, create us in this image, like, and then punish us for breaking some rules and make rules that nobody can follow? If Christianity is real, every person on this planet is going to hell because every single person is sinned. So no one is free of that. Every person is judged. That's a commandment for them, like, thou shalt not judge. Yeah, we want judges. Christians are some of the biggest judges on the planet. Like, you're going to hell if you don't believe in Jesus. You need to repent and forgive all this shit. Like, don't tell someone they're going to hell because they don't believe in what you believe in. That's medicine. Like, you all believe you're going to hell, basically. So I don't believe in that shit. I don't believe God is that. Like, God is love. Like, Jesus said, God is love. Practice love. Love nature. Love the bugs. Don't, don't kill the bugs because... God created bugs, you're killing the part of God when you kill the bugs, so love the bugs, love the trees, see the beauty in it all, love humans, even though they do you bad shit, you know, you know that they're humans and they were designed that way, it's their life conditions, it's their brain that they were given, it's that, that, like, they didn't decide to be bad, it's just, it's who they, the life they had, so, you know, love, love everyone, love everything, love everything around you, and when you get in touch with that love, you are in touch with God, you are walking with God, God walks with you, God will protect you. God will protect you when you need to be protected. You know, there are the stories like sometimes you need to die, sometimes this needs to happen, and you know, the lessons like I realized some other thing, that's another video too, about tragedies and blessings. Like, tragedies often turn out to be blessings. Like, I almost went blind in one eye, and now that eye, I don't need contacts or glasses for anymore. The first time in my life, I, I could see without contacts or glasses, and this eye is going through the same shit right now, so that'll probably be the same soon. Tragedies turn to blessings, and I'm there's other things like, you know, a whole list of things that in, in my life that I consider tragedies that ended up being blessings. Um, so that's that. So yeah, I don't believe God is what, you know, religious people say God is not some dude up there to judge or nothing shit. It's just what exists and it's all around us. It is everything that we all, everything that we see, everything in space, it's the world, it's the universe, it's all of it. And the universe does look like like everything else, like the microstructure of anything else. So, why well, can't it be the microstructure of God? The more you zoom out of it, the more it looks like the inner workings of a body. So, yeah, I don't think God's anything to be worshipped, which should be loved. That's it. You just love the idea of God, and you know, just love an idea of love, and you then love everything around you, and you truly love God. So, I think mean, that's that's what God is. It's just as hard to have you also. I don't think I don't believe. Like it might be a physical entity that it most likely is a physical entity. That's what I believe. Like it's either we live in the mind or we live in the body. That's what I'm not sure about. That's the only thing I'm not sure about. But I'm sure that the universe is God. We are all the body of God. We are in the body of God. That's what I believe. So um, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more I can say, but I'll leave it at that. And that's good enough for now. Thank you. Thank you very much.